Hello, Akiri here. So today I'm making a tutorial on how to make your own Mario. Um, this is a settings creation for the simulator a machine learning uh, video games. Um, for some users it's pretty complicated on how to start up the program and the script. So I will show you how to do it. So what you will need is um, the link will be in the description, the source code and the BizHawk emulator and you need um, for, for this tutorial you need a Super Mario World um, ROM file that you can find on the internet so firstly you're going to make you're going to um, go to the de uh, description and open this website the source code for the Mario and the BizHawk um, emulator website. So now you're going to go to the um, desktop and create a new folder. You can call it whatever you want basically. So open this folder and in this folder you will um, you will have the BizHawk emulator and, and everything in it. So go back to the internet and go to the BizHawk website and under the project info down in downloads click this link it will redirect you to SourceForge and click this green button here once you download it um, you open and you will in WinRAR and you will see all these files just move those files to the folder you just created it will take some time because there are a lot of files in here so after you've done that you go to Lua um, SNES and here is where you're going to, to um, save your script that setting put up so you can open notepad or notepad++ whatever you want um, for this I will use notepad because um, basically everyone has it so um, you just go to the website that um, um, how do you call it source code and just copy all of the source code so copy it in your Lua folder and then make sure that you um, that you do these steps click file save as and then go to your um, to your folder so on desktop um, let me find it where is it ok here it is open this go to Lua SNES and here put in the um, the net evolve I like this oh, here. evolve like this and dot lua and make sure that you check the all the all files like this then after that that you put net evolve dot lua um, click save this this will make a new um, lua script in your snes folder that you created um, you can close this now so this is a script you will use for the machine learning so now you need to power up the game you need to download um, the ROM for it and you can copy it to the folder for easy access so now you will open the emuhawk.exe double click and wait to, to start like this you will see um, a snow coming down just click file open ROM and then search for your ROM it's this one click open and it will open the game will start so so create a new world player one and So 
so now this is a tutorial basically for the game so you just need to skip it space for me so now on the map um, and load one map whatever you want I think the loading is Y or the Z on the keyboard now that you're on this you must click save save state when you're in the level save state and one you will save the save this level so you can now close close the game if you want if it's still out for me this and you will search for the save state so it's in SNES um, state and this is your state you need to copy this so okay I'll go back um, so you copy this go to your um, Lua folder SNES and then drop it in the same folder that you put the netevolve.lua then change this name to netevolve like this uh, I mean to dp1evolve sorry so it's like this dp1.state now you go and open your game I'm in the emulator. Um, your ROM, and go back to your Lua, SNES, and when you're in the level that you want to um, machine to make, um, go in, then drag and drop the dot Lua folder in it. It will start like this. You will see the fitness up here. Um, don't close anything. You can show map to see all the nets and M right to see all the information. So now it will start doing everything, and hopefully it will end the level by itself. So thanks for watching. I hope that this tutorial will work for you. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If I know the answer, I, I can um, answer, but if I don't know, probably the community will help you out. So, thanks for watching. Bye.